Hi there, my name's Daryl. It's great to welcome see you and welcome to Old Man Cycling. Hi there, welcome to this video. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a 26 mile ride that I've got planned and some of it includes some new roads that I've not cycled on before. But the main point of this video is for me to give you an update on my fitness and my mental state after my accident um, three or four months ago. Um, and so I'm going to talk to you more about that when we get out on the ride. So come along, let's get cracking. So what I've done this morning is I've set the bike on level one assistance. So I'm only just getting a little bit of help. Um, I've got 26 miles ahead. So I think I'll be very appreciative of that help by the end. But my fitness has really started to um, get a lot better. I did a ride the other day that I didn't film where I had the bike set on level one for the entire time. And I did get a question from somebody asking me how um, cycling at level one fares and I managed to do about 23 miles and I used 20% of the battery so I think that was quite good going. I do find that when I'm filming at the same time as riding that my average speed does go down because I have to concentrate more on talking and filming rather than just cycling um, so that might affect the overall battery consumption because if I'm cycling at a lower speed then I'll be using the battery more of the time. So it'll be interesting to see how today's battery consumption does compare with the other day when I wasn't filming. As well as my overall fitness improving, I can also tell that my knees have improved as well, particularly the one that was injured in the crash. Uh, the other day on my ride, I was uh, getting out of the saddle to climb hills with no problem at all. So that's really good news. Just at the moment, as far as any weight reductions are concerned, I've not really noticed a great reduction in weight. I've dropped about a pound, uh, but I can't say for sure whether that's anything to do with cycling. Um, I do genuinely feel fitter because I can tell that from how well I can sustain a ride and the effort throughout a ride, but I've not really done any extended distances frequently enough for it to affect my weight but as I do longer distances and put more energy in um, and perhaps do them more frequently over the summer I'm sure I'll see a difference. The biggest thing that stopped me getting back on the bike um, was my mental attitude. Um, I put it off for so long because after you've been in a, an accident that's not your fault um, and if you're not aware I was hit by a car while I was out cycling um, it really throws your confidence and I kind of put off getting back on the bike for a long while and now I really should have got back on as soon as my injuries were recovered um, and just faced my fears really. I ended up finding lots of reasons to not get back on the bike, um, one of which is I hadn't got a cycle helmet and ultimately I just bit the bullet and got back on the bike and now I am so glad that I did. Yes I'm still a little bit wary especially when I see cars coming out of junctions in front of me or cars passing me that hasn't completely alleviated but I don't feel the same level of apprehension now I've got a lot more confidence about just getting back out on the bike um, and I think that heightened wariness is only a good thing really because uh, cycling defensively is 
a good thing to do anyway. Just being aware of there's a car pulling out now. See me that far now. Um, just being aware of things like car doors opening as you pass them um, and thinking ahead just helps keep you safe. We're now onto some of the unfamiliar roads that I've not cycled before and this is what makes um, cycling with a Wahoo great fun. As I said in my last video, just planning in completely unknown routes just spices up your ride, makes it so much more interesting. I'm a big advocate for looking after your mental health. Now when I say that, I'm not talking about crystals and Reiki and all that kind of woo. Um, that I'm absolutely not into. Um, but in the past I've suffered from mental health issues, nothing very serious, and I recovered completely. Um, but as a result of that incident, I've um, become very aware of making sure that I'm taking care of my own mental health. So to achieve that, what I've done is I've made sure that I've got things in my life that I can do that take me away from anything that is worrying me. Um, one of those is photography and the other is cycling. And so when I lost the ability to get out on the bike, it did actually affect me. And I think I probably got into a downward spiral where one was affecting the other because I couldn't cycle, that was making me more depressed. And because I was more depressed, I couldn't cycle. And so actually getting out uh, on the bike was a big step, but it was one that's made a big difference. Um, once you're out on the bike, things melt away. Just cycling in the open air is so much more enjoyable than cycling on an exercise bike in the spare room. But it's just not the same as getting out um, in the fresh air and just experiencing cycling how it should be. And for me, it's a really good therapy um, to just take my mind off anything that's happening in the real world. You can just uh, put yourself in the moment, but it does also, should you want it to, give you time to process things because you've got uh, yourself and the bike and you can just sort your problems out in your head if you've got any. Other than recovering from the accident, I wouldn't say that I've got a lot of worries. I'm a fairly chilled person in general in life not a lot gets to me but I knew that when I was facing that issue of getting on the bike there was really only two choices it was either face the problem and get back out on the bike and just uh, learn to live with it or quit forever and sell the bike and that really wasn't an option for me so in the end I'm glad that I got back out. One of the things I really like the most about cycling is just how it makes me smile. When you're cycling along at a good old clip with the wind in my metaphorical hair, it's just a great feeling. I just really enjoy being out on the bike um, and then in a way you get a bit of self-satisfaction as well as taking your mind off things you know that you're getting fitter you're promoting your physical health as well as your mental health and overall it's just a great feeling
So I'm nearly home now, I've got a mile to go. And for those people that are interested in battery consumption, I've stayed on level one assistance the entire time and I've used 22% of the battery. So that's pretty good going, considering that I've been stopping and starting. I'm really glad that uh, I've managed to put most of my anxiety behind me now and I've just faced my fears and got back out on the bike because it is so enjoyable. Well, I've really enjoyed that ride and I hope you found it interesting finding out about my recovery. Um, my fitness is certainly improving and I know that my mental health definitely is as well. It's really important to ride with a smile on your face. Now, if you have enjoyed this ride, do let me know down below in the comments or you can nip over to my Facebook account and leave me your comments there. Now, don't forget you can do me a really big favor as well by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content and YouTube really loves that kind of thing. Watch out for next time's video. That goes live very, very soon. In the meantime, stay safe. It's been great to OMC you, and I'll see you soon. I only want to film a couple of minutes, and this road, road junction is really busy. I'm probably taking a bloody image now of my crotch, which is probably not the best. My old ride plan. Trying to film myself going around this corner. Great big tractor gets in the way.